is going to be quote unquote new. Although anyone watching this has probably already watched other people play it. Or has watched me play through it the one time we did. Or played it themselves, because it's been out for half a month. Yep. Actually, technically three weeks. Well, it came out came out on the 8th, so it's like two weeks. Well, I say three weeks, though, because next week is the... Well, next week's the start of week four, so yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Kind of. Anyway. Shh, shut up, this cut's gonna be cool. So, like, temporal debate aside, it's still a good time to get into this, because I literally didn't have time to play Destiny on stream before this week. Pretty much. Well, we had a busy schedule, but I've knocked off a bunch of series. There's time now. Now we've got the half an hour of walking, right? Yeah, this was, like, unnecessarily tedious. This could have been a cutscene. I think it did a really good job, though, of making you feel like you are seriously fucked. Like, I mean, look at your armor. Yeah, and actually, there's descriptions on it, too. Every aspect of this helm has been compromised. Titans are taught to repair their armor after every battle. These gauntlets are a lost cause. Not These in a million years could you cause. buff out all the dents in this breastplate. These boots are unaccustomed to retreat. It is customary to shed a mark after victory or loss, a reminder of its finder history that came before. And... See, made sidearm built for this doesn't this doesn't acknowledge that's damaged. The the warlock ones are really good. The boots say the hunter ones are really good too. The the boots say you've never felt so far from the stars. And the the gauntlets are like you don't have anything up your sleeve anymore. Yeah, no, the warlock and the hunter ones are really good. The titan ones are just like meh. Just like most of the Titan stuff. No offense, Shaq. I don't know if it matters if we get under this cover before the ship passes by or not. You just get insta-wrecked if you don't. I'm not entirely sure how some of this armor damage happened, given the nature of our fall. Well, it did say two days after the attack, so... So, for the first time in, like, Destiny history, you didn't have a ghost equipped in that brief segment. They've taken the city. The traveler. Everything. We have no bullets, so... Killing powerless guardians. This doesn't really help. But at least we can we jog now. Out of here.
Then we're gonna have the image quest for the spirit animal. An emergency broadcast. Rendezvous coordinates. They are evacuating the planet. We're on our own. The other thing is, we, we get a bunch of time lapses in this segment. So now we're four days after the attack. And somewhere along the line, we end up wandering over this bird. We envisioned. Guardians, they had no chance without their powers. That could be us. Guardian, if you die, I can't resurrect you. We need to be very careful. Crucible sleeping bag. Stylish. So now we get the Soro and a little bit of ammo for our kinetic weapon too. I don't really like Soro. It doesn't have the greatest accuracy known to man. I am a fan of the uh, sidearm though. Got some good stuff going on, but not a lot of ammo until we drop a couple guys. Also, it's pretty satisfying to punch that guy in the face. Follow your vision. There's the bird. We're going over there. We also apparently lost the ability to jog on that particular map. We just do that awkward air hunt. It took us a week to walk to Twilight Gap. It's that falcon again. Is it following us, or are we following it? Being a big fan of Omwan, it's sad that I don't like this weapon. But, that's too much spread for me. Feels like with Destiny 2, Omwan has to be like a... Well, all their other products are fine. It's just like this particular one you get at the start of the game shoots like a fucking ice cream cone in front of it. I know it's not meant to be amazing, but since this is the one part of the game where you can actually die, I don't feel good about it. that you aren't get that, that, that you didn't get the sidearm back repaired like it aggravates me I really like this one yeah like the sidearm is solid who makes this I think it's city made yeah
I like it. There's a really dope looking sidearm before. It still looks nice, but I mean, not here. Well, it just looks nice. This, this is like a beginner's trap. Don't walk across that log. Just walk around. No, don't. I'm pretty sure that it's actually a slide zone. A slide zone? Like a piece of land that you have to slide off of, you can't walk on it. Then there's an impossible Could jump, be. we fall to our death. But we don't die because the cutscene saves us. Now look, somebody left a perfectly good guardian lying around. Things must be worse than I thought. And then and that's our cue. this turkey walks up go, with this like sweet ass sniper rifle and is just like, hey piece of shit, get off the ground. Oh, by the way, have a shotgun. That falcon, it belongs to you. It also Name's means Hawthorne. that and Hawthorne is equipped with two heavy weapons. Pilot one. We got. What about you? <coughs> Probably gonna need one of these too. That's some kind of exotic Time to sniper. Make yourself useful, guardian. All right, people, it's like Got a long flight ahead of us. I could 100% confirm that that is not no land beyond. I said it's the, like no land beyond. The other guy, though, definitely has no land beyond. Which you could just barely see, it was so tiny in that cutscene. Do you see, Traveler, all that I have done? Grace me with your light. Take your place By the way, Berlin, the center yeah. of my as far as the server goes, Bo get. See me? I'm a red legion will be your true So I'm just killing everything in the ravine now. Excellent. Dominus. What I, what I like about this scene, those it looks like the image of the Traveler is painted and those foolish enough to with the CG in front of it. It's pretty cool. Victory, oh, yeah. as with all things, is yours to claim. This victory is as also, all the dead ghosts and what I guess that's a hunter head all that making this guy's necklace. The completion of the cage around this great machine. Then we may begin the extraction of its power and put it. To it looks like that hunter helmet. Use. They call it the Traveler. I Which would one? Contend the the one around the red guy's precise. neck. He has a bunch of dead ghosts made into a necklace and it's like a hunter helmet on it too. And it, like the arachnid one. As we have so it might be. Proven. I haven't seen that helmet in a while. Yet they believe it to be a god. Dominus. Gaul. We have spent our lives, you and I, working to reshape our society, reforge our people, rebuild an empire nearly destroyed by Callus's greed and corruption. There is nothing in this universe greater than you. The Red Legion will have that machine's power. You will be called Emperor. What more would the Dominus have? I would have words with my guest. This is some kinky sexual device, obviously. So you're the one who speaks for the traveler. Better than speaking to the trees. Jesus Christ, I always hated that story when I was little. Anyway, it's been about 40 minutes. We have one more mission to do before we can group up? I think so, I'm not sure. Coming up on the European Dead Zone, 
Gonna be our new home for a while. Look, do you recognize it? That's where we're supposed to go. Nothing? They call it the Shard, the Shard of the Traveler. Traveler has been smoking for it centuries, not apparently. A place you go non stop. Ever since the end of the Golden Age, just been smoldering. Imagine the the meats you could cure there. Oh my God. We do have to do a little wandering around here before we can really get started. So we got a shotgun. And a ship. And basically nothing else at this particular juncture. Yes, Lightbit. Oh. I'm glad to see you safe. I am Tyra. Tyra Karn. I'm sorry. Have we met before? Losing my connection to the light has been disorienting. Now, I understand All the characters the have way more travel. dialogue than appears on the side of the screen. So let's let it play out. It's jagged, broken edge. A wound that never heals. By the way, I made some barrels. But I do not really? trust its pull. Excellent. Like us, the shard no longer knows the light. Not since the traveler cast it off during the collapse. For centuries, it has twisted and corrupted everything around it. Where it lies is now a place of death. If you are determined to go, remember, we guardians are no longer immortal. All right, so we uh, get our first equipment upgrade right off the bat. I will look upon the traveler again someday, but until then, I am needed here. And I believe Hawthorne up here will give us another piece of equipment right off the bat. Hey there, Guardian. This is whew, a lot of civilization. For me, at least. Of course, I've been living outside the city half my life. So, anyway, heard you want to go poke around that busted up hunk of travel. You guardians have a weird idea of a good time. Oh well, Lewis and I know plenty about trusting your gut. So I'm not about to stop you. I got enough to deal with here. Take that ship you flew here. At least. It'll get you back faster. See all these refugees? I haven't lost one. Hawthorne's yet. weird. Don't you be my first. Hawthorne's got that, like, motherly nature going on. Pretty much. Okay. Almost all this gear is better than what we have. So we're gonna I buy it. I'd had that years ago. Because I've got a little nest egg for my warlock. Catch you later. I'm going to also lock my original gear as a souvenir. You lose it. No, you always keep the old gear. Because you never know when it's going to turn into an exotic. Right. I don't think there's any other NPCs here yet that I can mooch gear off of. Mooch gear off of. I love it. Uh, Postmaster has nothing. There's no one else here. Yet. So we open up 